Hey guys, what's going on? Paul here. Welcome back to another Cardano video. So Milkameda has gone live for Cardano. Great to see this going live. It's going to bring some really incredible opportunities for people in Cardano. So Milkameda is an EVM chain for Cardano. It means that Ethereum dApps can launch on Milkameda. The base currency for Milkameda that pays the fees is ADA as well. Bridging opportunities, you can bridge your ADA from Cardano over to Milkameda. Also, you can bridge your tokens from Ethereum into Milkameda and trade them there. That means you can have stable coins to trade against ADA or against the other pairs as well with extremely low fees. So in this video, I'll get into showing you how to bridge your ADA from Cardano into Milkameda. Look at some of the DEXs and opportunities that are there already. I'll do some follow-up videos as well, looking at how to bridge your tokens from Ethereum into Milkameda and do a deeper dive into some of the farming opportunities as well. If you think others can benefit, please share it out. Give the video a like, comment below, and we might do a giveaway towards the end as well. I'll give you whatever you need to put in the comments then as well. So let's jump into it. Timestamps will be below as normal. And just as a disclaimer on this as well, look, anytime you get involved in something like this, you do give up custody of your funds the same way you do when you get involved with a DEX or providing liquidity or money markets or anything like that on top of Cardano as well. So with that, it always brings a small element of risk. So make sure you are happy to get involved knowing the risks that are there as well. For me, I'm happy to take the risk for the big potential rewards that are here. So Milkmeda C1 launch EVM on Cardano is available starting today. So this is an article that they put out and I will put a link to this one down below. They talk all about how to get involved in compatible wallets. I'm going to show you that in a second as well. You will need to use MetaMask. So MetaMask is for all EVM chains. So you need both your Cardano wallet and MetaMask to use it. But I'll show you the exact guide in a minute. They then go in here to talk about some of the Projects, the D apps that have already launched. You have Milky Swap, Occamex, Nomad is one of the bridges, Multichain is a bridge, and Sealar is a bridge as well. So these allow you to bridge your Ethereum assets. You can also bridge some Binance Chain and Phantom as well. And I think AVAX, you can bridge just AVAX in as well. Just like with Phantom, you can bring in FTM. With Binance, I think you can bring in BUSD and Binance or BNB as well. So I'll get into them in a future video as well. Muesli Swap, people in Cardano will already be familiar with Muesli Swap because they do have an order book DEX on Cardano. On Milkameda, as you will see in this video, they do have an AMM DEX as well, which does seem to be working very well. So then to get started, what you need to do is you need to set up your Flint wallet. So you need your Cardano wallet. And actually this guy talks about you need Flint but you can also use NAMI as well if you hold, if you use your NAMI wallet. Currently, CC Vault haven't, or CC Vault have rebranded to Eternal. They don't have the functionality built in yet, but hopefully we will see that over the next while as well. So another wallet that you do need is MetaMask. But we'll start off here with Flint. So for anyone who hasn't seen Flint, this is the wallet from the DC Spark team. So you can see very simple to use wallet. You have your send, receive, you have the, the different tabs here for your transactions, if you have any NFTs, and that's really it. There are more settings and everything. We don't need to get into them in this video. And actually something just to show you here, you can see to fund this wallet, I put in 2080 yesterday, but then just before I started this video, I unwrapped ADA that I had put into Milkameda. I unwrapped that and brought it back out and put it in here. So I've seen some people worried that you couldn't, unwrap the ADA that you put in. So just to show you here, you can do it. And that's what I've done here. So what you also need as well is you will also need MetaMask. So you can see I have MetaMask installed here. I have it ready to go. If you don't have it yet and you want to get started, there is a kind of a shortcut to get started here. What I'll show you is if you go to the Muesli Swap decks, I'll put the links again down below. It's milkmeta.muesliswap.com. So when you come in here, if you have uh, MetaMask installed, this is the Chrome browser. Normally I use Brave, but I'm just showing you here because I already have it set up on Brave. If you click on connect, I'll just show you first actually. If you look here, you can see I just have the Polygon and the Ethereum networks set up here. But on Muesli, if I click on connect, 
click on MetaMask, what it's going to do here is you can see it wants to allow this site to add the network. So it will automatically add the Milkmaiden network in for you. You can see Milkmaiden mainnet, the network URL, the chain ID. And if you were doing it manually, if I scroll down here, configuring MetaMask, these are the details here. So you can just confirm that them details are all right. So bringing this back up, scroll down and click on approve. And now that it has created the network, it wants to switch to the Milk and Maiden mainnet, click on switch network. And if I go back here, I can see then it's picked up the wallet that is there. But if I look within MetaMask, I can see now I have the Milk and Maiden mainnet. So that's what you need to do. I'm going to come back to my main wallet here just for this tutorial. So if I come into MetaMask here, you can see I've set up this wallet. I've called it Milk just for the purposes of this video. Click on copy to clipboard. So this is the address of this wallet. I then come into Flint. Within Flint, then I click on send. And what you see here is Milk and Maiden mode beta. So this means that when I turn this on, you can see this changes to Milk and Maiden Ethereum address, which is the one I just copied out. You can see it here. And I'm going to send 100 ADA over. It works out the fees. Click on continue. Then it's telling me it's going to wrap the ADA to Milk and Maiden. It takes approximately five minutes. So I'll scroll down and I put in the password for the wallet, click on send and transaction is submitted. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause the video just until the transaction gets over there and I'll be able to show you that then on the other side. Okay, so that took roughly five minutes. You can see here now within MetaMask, I have 99.9 .9 milk ADA. So I sent over the 100 and this is what I've ended up here with in my MetaMask account. So this is over on the milk ADA network now. And just to show you here, this is the contract that when you send your ADA, this is where it goes to. Currently, there is just under 22 million ADA already locked in this. So the TVL is really growing very fast here. It is about 24 hours since it launched as I record this video. So growing at a fairly fast rate. So what you want to look at then is once you have the, it's called Milk Ada on Milk Ada. It is effectively Ada. It's a one for one swap when you come back across. So MusiSwap is one of the most popular right now and the one that I've mainly been using myself. You also have Milky Swap as well. Currently, I did test out some of these positions, but right now when you look at the farming opportunities, it's just broken. They're saying that everything is over 10,000% APR. Until that's fixed and until we get a bit more clarity here, I won't be using Milky Swap at the minute, but I will follow up on that in another video when I dive deeper into the different opportunities that are there. If you look at this, what I done was to test out what the actual percentages were here, was I set up a position within Milky Swap. I'll show you how to do it in a second on Muesli Swap. I set one up in Muesli Swap and one up in Milky Swap. So at the time, the return on the Muesli Swap position was telling me that it was 1600% APR. On this, it was saying over 10,000%. But when I started to look at the payouts I was getting from the two positions, I was getting three times as much from Muesli Swap as Milky Swap. But look, it does depend on the individual position because you can see this is the amount of rewards that are paid out per day and that's split over the full TVL. So again, we need some updates here before, before I would say I would feel safer to start using this, but it is a very nice interface. I did use it in the test set and it works very well. So looking at Muesli Swap here now, this is one we'll use for the tests here. So you can see I have 99.9 .9 ADA or it's milk ADA. So let's say I want to swap 20 ADA and the currency I want to swap it to. So what you can see here is all the different assets that you could use. And what you notice is there is two different USDCs here. There's two different USDT. So you can see one is the assets that are bridged in from multi-chain and the other one is sealer. So for this one, I used multi-chain because when I started to look at the pools and look at how much liquidity was in there, it looked like multi-chain was the one that was giving me the best option. So if I look down here and I say, I want to swap 20 ADA for USDC, you can see I could get 21.6 USDC here. And if I look at the other one, let's just compare. 
So USDC on the CE, which is the seller pair, you can see there isn't enough liquidity right now for that. So when these types of exchanges launch as well, I would say be very conscious of the trades you're making because if there isn't much liquidity there, then the price you get mightn't be a good price at all. Actually, the update. So it's coming in here now that they do actually have liquidity. It was just a little bit slow to load. So that would give me 23.6. But I actually want the USDC on the multi-chain one. So I will get around 23.6. So what I want to do is click on swap, click on confirm swap. So waiting for confirmation and I should get the pop-up. Actually I did, it just came up somewhere else. So I can see here swapping 20 and I'm going to confirm. If you look at the fees on this, the fees on this are 0.011 ADA. It's milk ADA, but it's ADA. So extremely cheap, pending. And it says here, I can add USDC to MetaMask if I want. See that trade is complete. Then if I add that to my MetaMask, if I come back up here now, you can see add token. Within assets, then you can see I now have just under 80 milk ADA and I have the USDC in my account already. Extremely quick. If you want to add liquidity, then you can do it in here, just like we've looked at the other exchanges like MinSwap or SundaySwap. And the farming opportunities is what a lot of people are going to be interested in. Now, these rates here, these were up at five, six, seven thousand percent last night. But as the liquidity starts to flow in, you start to see them going down. Personally, the three farms that I got involved in were the ETH ADA pair, USDC ADA and the USDT USDC pair. For me, I like pairs like this. Generally, the APRs are lower. Now, this is a really good APR for a stablecoin pair because when you're using a stablecoin pair, there really isn't much impermanent loss at all because the two pairs are generally stay, they should stay pegged to each other or within half a cent of each other. So all you're really doing is getting the rewards out of that one anyway. With other ones like ETH ADA or USDC ADA, you do have the you do have the risk of impermanent loss, but when you have higher APRs, that's where that generally makes up for what's going on. But I would say keep an eye on this because as these get more popular, obviously more and more people coming into them, then the APRs are going to keep going down. So if I look at, I have USDC and I have ADA. So if I go into add liquidity, actually you can do it from here, it's shorter, under the farm, go to USDC ADA, click on get USDC ADA LP. What it does is it auto fills in the pairs for me here. So I want to put in the max USDC I have. Just give it a second to load. So 23.59 USDC I have. So let's put in the max. So I'm putting in 23.59 USDC. And then on this one, that means that I need to put in 19.94 ADA as the other side of the liquidity pair. So down here then I have to enable USDC. So click on enable. So this is just when you're using MetaMask, you have to enable the different currencies that you're using with that account for the first time. And again, the pop-up didn't come up, but you will generally see the little icon up here showing you if you have a notification. So if I scroll down here, it's just saying that, do I confirm that I want to allow access to, US, to my USDC? I'm going to say yes. Be very cautious of these. If you're not using proper sites, make sure you look at what you're actually given permission to do, because unlike ADA, when you give smart contracts uh, permission, they can take some of your funds, sake extra of your funds out. So this, I'm just giving USDC access, click on confirm. I wait for this to be approved and it should be quick. Once again, within two, three seconds, the transactions are approved. So now I can come back here and I can click on supply. This is what I'm going to supply, confirm supply. And then it should actually, yeah, I don't know why it's not giving the pop-up. So just in case you don't get the pop-up, normally you do just click up on the MetaMask symbol. You can see I'm adding this liquidity pair. Again, the fee is 0.015 ADA. Click on confirm. Come back to assets here. And then you can see I have the LP position here. Icons aren't showing properly, but the position is there. If I go into farm then, 
I come into the USTC ADA pair, click on enable the farm over here. MetaMask didn't give me the pop-up. So again, I'm just enabling this, click confirm, give it the one, two seconds, whatever it is, three, four, and we're approved. Okay, so next up, what I want to do is add the liquidity position into the farm. So click on stake LP, click on max up here. So I want to put all of the LP tokens that I have into it. Click on confirm up here, down and confirm the transaction within MetaMask. So you will see here that it should confirm within the few seconds. You have the opportunity to speed it up, but we don't really need to do that. So. You can see there the deposit has happened in the background. You can see that the position is now within the yield farm for Muesli Swap. So look, what I'm going to do in some of the other videos, actually, this is a better view. I like this one and click on staked only. So this shows me the positions that I have. So what I'm going to do in future videos, maybe one later today, I'm not sure yet. I will do one looking at how to bring assets in from Ethereum as well. Look at different combinations here that could be good for people as new opportunities come out as new protocols d apps launch on milk Meta. i'll be checking them out seeing what is good to use and i will let you guys know what i get into as well in terms of the different tokens and everything that's out there when there's such high yields i would not personally be going out buying the tokens farm them get the profits there get them back out and do what you want with your profits then Obviously not financial advice. I am just explaining what I'm doing myself. Okay, and just on the giveaway as well, if you put Milk Meta in the comments down below, I'll give away whatever ends up being in this account in a few days. Currently it's what, 99 ADA if I converted everything back. So I'll send that over to someone's Milk Meta MetaMask account in the next few days. By the end of the week, I will pick a random comment below. Thanks for watching guys. I will talk to you soon.